This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned to know more. This week has been a total roller coaster ride. So this week we received 50 plus orders which was a huge milestone for me. But at the same time some things did not turn out how I wanted them to be and I felt very demotivated. So with this video I just wanted to share some of my thoughts while sculpting some orders. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great and welcome to my tiny little studio. Let's start the day by noting down all the things that I want to make for today. Okay, so the first charm design that I'm going to make today are some leafy bunnies because I'm seeing a lot of people have ordered them. I also have a really small amount of clay left so I'm hoping that I will be able to make 8 to 9 charms with the amount of clay that is left with me so let's see. When I am working on an order, I don't just see it as something to be shipped out. I think most artists see it as a special piece that they are creating just for that person. I of course try to make them as perfectly as I can, not just because I take pride in my work but also because I know it's going to make someone's day a little bit brighter. And so naturally, I put a lot of care into each single detail that I add on my charms. I know I am not perfect in any way, but I am always trying to do my best and make something that will bring a smile on your face. But sometimes, if I am being honest, I really doubt my abilities. Some people might call this the imposter syndrome. And to explain it in simple terms, it's basically the feeling where I ask myself, am I just pretending to be a skilled artist? You know, those thoughts can very easily creep in and make me wonder if I'm truly good enough and that's exactly what I have been thinking this week. Honestly, I'm not able to pinpoint what exactly triggered this. It may be just me overthinking about my future. Or maybe the comments that I have been receiving where people are saying that my work is overpriced. But whatever the reason might be, over the years I have learned that these fears can actually hold us back from pursuing our dreams. If you are an artist thinking of starting your own small business and have been feeling anxious about what people would say about your products or your prices, bro, I understand how you feel. But honestly, just give it a try. I think as an artist who also has a small business, I need to continuously remind myself and others that not everybody is going to be your target customer and that's completely fine. And that's exactly why I create videos. And that's why I love creating content and sharing my processes so that even if you are not a customer, you can still enjoy my art and my processes through the screen. So I'm going to say this again just in case you needed to hear this today. Just give it a go. Don't let the fear of getting some hurtful comments stop you from starting that small business, okay? And talking about small business, as an artist and as a small business owner, it was my dream to have my own website one day and finally this year I am able to achieve that dream of mine using Squarespace. Making a whole website all by yourself is not easy, especially if you are a person like me who is really bad at all this technical stuff and that's why Squarespace was the best platform for me because it provided me with hundreds of pre-designed templates that I can choose from. Once you choose the template that matches your aesthetic, all you need to do is update the text and the pictures and the best thing is you can just drag and drop the images and text wherever you want because they provide you with fluid engine feature. So Squarespace is not only an amazing platform for creators like us, but with their flexible payments, they provide our customers with a seamless checkout experience. So this year, start your dream business and make that dream website of yours using Squarespace. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch your own website, go to squarespace.com slash sugarcafecharms and use code sugarcafecharms to get 10% off on your first purchase of a domain or a website. And thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and supporting my small business. So the MIFI orders are finally done. And let's move on to the other design.
This week, as I said, has been a mixed bag, but I am grateful for the positives as well. Receiving 50 plus orders in a week was a huge milestone for me because I have never really received this many orders in a single week before. And I find it so funny how our brains tend to dwell on the negatives. But I of course have been trying to shift my focus. My habit of overthinking can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, but thankfully the influx of orders kept me busy and helped distract me from any anxious thoughts. And henceforth, I will try to focus more on the positives and as I was talking, the head is done. And let's move on to the little cookies that the bear will be holding. Lastly, all I'm going to say is I understand that my work may be perceived as expensive or overpriced by some. But after two years of running this business, I understood that I need to give myself a fair wedge for the work that I do. I think it's high time that we redefine the notion of artistic compensation and let's move beyond the stereotype of starving artist. Let's try and foster a supportive community that recognizes the value of art. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these little biscuits are making me so hungry. I have been working non-stop throughout the week to fulfill all the orders and now I'm ready for a small break. That's all I could muster for the morning and now it's finally lunchtime. Okay, while I was having my lunch, I got this parcel and it happens to be this UV resin. One of these will be our test subject for today. <laughs> not gonna lie, I am actually a little bit nervous, but okay, let's see. It's not coming out. Oh, okay. This resin surprisingly does not have any weird smell although I have ordered a respirator just to be safe so I hope it arrives soon. I also glazed these charms and I'm not gonna lie they just look super polished don't they? Alright guys, it's pretty dark outside and also I have a really small amount of clay. I only have this much left so I'm quickly gonna make some bunnies and call it a day. So these are everything that I could make for this week and I am working on a lot of exciting new designs and hopefully I will be able to launch them super soon. The day ended with me filming a reel of all these charms and also packing up a few orders. I packed probably around 10 orders and next week I am going to make trinket dishes and cake boxes so stay tuned for that video and I will see you guys super soon. Bye!